Hello, welcome to another vlog. Check this out. I feel, I feel super cool. This is the Current Body LED Hair Regrowth. I almost said mask. It is definitely more like a helmet. It is an LED device that is supposed to help with hair regrowth. I could not be more excited. Actually, let me take this off so I can show you, show you the inside here. Look at all of the LED lights in there. And then there's actually a built-in headset. So you can connect it to your phone or your device via Bluetooth and listen to music. There's also this really cool digital panel on the side here, and it basically tells you how much more time you have in this particular cycle. So each cycle, when you turn it on, is 10 minutes long. It's very comfortable on the head. Actually, let me turn it off. There's all these like, they look like suction cups, but really it's just cushioning. So you don't have just this like plastic kind of just sitting right on your head. It's so cool. So I'm working with Current Body on this video and they did send this over to me. So a big thank you to them. As you guys know, I've been partnering with Current Body for such a long time now. I'm such a big, big fan of their LED mask, the neck and deck mask, the hand perfector, the lip perfector, the eye mask. I mean, I have it all. And I was so excited when I opened up this box and saw this LED hair regrowth helmet in there. And just to show you quickly, this is where you plug it in to recharge. So it just takes a regular USB-C charger. And then here is the power button. So you hold it down to turn it on and then you just press it to turn it off. So you're supposed to use it 10 minutes a day and you'll start to see visible results after 16 weeks, which is about four months. So there's 120 LED bulbs in here. Um, I'm just on their site and they have like a few um, call outs here like clinically proven to give up to 126% more growth than topical laser and supplement treatments alone. I've talked about, you know, kind of my concerns with my thinning hair. I don't think I'm at the point where I have like a major problem yet, but my hair is a lot thinner than it was when I was younger. And I've tried several things. I've tried scalp serums, which are great. I have seen a bit of a difference there, a bit of a, a thickening, if you will. Um, but what I've also tried are like biotin vitamins, which I think work like a charm. And you guys have heard me say this before. They work like a charm, but it's going to grow hair all over. Work like a charm. And I was like, I don't want that. So I actually stopped taking biotin for hair regrowth and was like using like different scalp serums. This is perfect because if you're not really into biotin and growing hair all over, this is a very targeted strategy for um, hair regrowth because I really only want it on my head. I don't really want hair anywhere else, maybe my eyebrows and eyelashes, but that's it. So there's a board certified dermatologist on here by the name of Robert Finney. And he says, quote, the two most important factors when looking at LED devices for hair loss are wavelength and energy. The current body helmet nails both of these points with LEDs that are both effective and powerful. So there's two sizes for this helmet, small, medium, and medium, large. And on the site, it will spell out what exactly that size means. So 54 centimeter to 58.7 centimeter for the small, medium and then 59.7 centimeter to 63.5 centimeter for the medium large. And I believe you just measure around here, like right above your ears. These ear pads on the inside, can you see these ear pads? They're actually adjustable, so you can move them up and down if you want. So it's great. And I'm so excited to use this when I'm meditating. The cycle is only 10 minutes long. My meditations are usually much longer than that, but I think it'll just be great just to have this and have this really comfortable padded, like super duper headset on basically. So cool. So I would also recommend if you have long hair, tying your hair back so they don't really like interfere with the um, headset. And you'll see the current body logo on the front here. So this is the front of the helmet. And then I just pull it over my ears and then swing it back. This is so Star Wars, isn't it? I feel like I'm on that Hoth planet. This is so cool. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. And you're actually gonna hear a voice in the headset say power on. And then you have the cycle for 10 minutes. There's that LED readout over here. Let me go through the pairing process. I just wanna make sure there's nothing tricky. Okay, under other devices, it says currentbody.com. So I'm gonna click there. And then it just said that it's connected. Let me try playing, I have Spotify on here. I'll try playing a Spotify playlist. Oh my gosh, what am I listening to? Oh, I'm listening to a true crime podcast. 
Oh my God, that is so awesome. I love, love, love that they have integrated headphones in here. How cool is that? All right, well, I'm just gonna hang out here for the 10 minute cycle. I'll be right back. Okay, well, <laughs> my hair's a little messy now. So while I had it on, I just wanna mention that the lights, they don't get like hot. I was kind of wondering like if it was gonna to start to feel really warm under there. It doesn't, I mean, you do also have these vents or whatever. So it got warmer than it is, but like not even that warm. So if you're concerned about that, I wouldn't worry about it. And it's super comfortable, really, really comfortable. I'm so like jazzed about, <laughs> about this built-in headset. What a smart addition to this. My God, I love it. So I'm gonna be using that guy and it does come with this stand, <laughs> which is super cool. Um, the stand does not recharge the unit. You actually plug it right into the unit, which I think is great because if you don't wanna use the stand, you can still charge it, you know? There it is. And you see all my other curve body devices sitting out here. I use them when I come down in the morning. So of course, per usual, I have a Current Body coupon, which I will flash up here on the screen for you. And of course, I'll leave the details of it down below in my description box. Definitely take advantage. You guys, I am such a big, big fan of these LED devices. I just think they're so, so helpful for like cell turnover and regrowth in general. So definitely check it out. Of course, I'll leave my links and everything and my coupon code and all the information down below in my description box um, as usual. But God, I'm so excited for that. I just wanted to show that to you guys. So anyway, I'm gonna just go about my day. I should probably hit the gym and yeah, I'll be back in a bit. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear me. The car is pretty loud and it's warm enough that the AC actually kicked in. Is that the AC? Yeah, the AC kicked in. I got some Starbucks that I don't usually get, but since I was at Target, I was trying to kill some time because there's just, some basic work being done at the house, but it's just too loud for me to film there or whatever. So anyway, I'm at Target. I stopped by the Starbucks and I got an iced decaf Americano with one pump of sugar-free vanilla. It literally is like, why bother? There's no caffeine, there's no real sugar. <laughs> but I want you to try like the sugar-free vanilla syrup, I think it was. I barely taste it. I'm not even gonna bother next time, but the iced decaf is pretty good. It's pretty good. I, oh, I ran into a subscriber there. Oh my God, that was so exciting. She stopped me, which is always just so amazing. I love it. Um, Kayana is her name. Hello, if you're watching. <laughs> and I always look like complete and total shit whenever I run into a subscriber. So you're welcome. I'm at Target because I... You know, I have a bunch of friends in New York City who are like yoga gurus. They're super advanced, have done thousands of hours of training. And I, it's so wasted on me because I just am not a fan of yoga. I just don't like doing it. I just don't like doing it. You guys have seen me do it with my friend, Jen. She's one of my yoga gurus. She's been to India at this point, maybe three or four times. And yeah, she's like deep in deep in. I don't think I need to say anymore. Anyway, you know, I've been working out with my trainer and uh, I've always had this kind of like lower back, not always, but since I moved here, actually, maybe for the past six years, I've had this right side lower back issue. It's just very tight. It's my own fault. I just don't stretch. So my trainer was like, you know, you have to stretch. If you're not going to do it on your, on your own, like go do yoga, take something. And I was like, I really hate yoga. He was like, get into it. I'm like, okay. I reached out to my friend Jen and I said, can you do like a yin class with me? Yin is the, the it's basically like, it's like stretch yoga. Uh, but the point of it is actually not to stretch your big muscles. It's actually to stretch like your tendons and your ligaments. And I, I, I'm at that point. I mean, you're going to be stretching your, your muscles too, just to get into the positions. So I, I like the idea of yin yoga and my friend Jen is very good at teaching yin yoga. It's not taught, I, I don't want to say correctly, but it's not taught in the way that I'm used to taking yin yoga. Um, at any of the places I've tried here in Vegas, they just do like, they basically just kind of do stretching mixed in with flow. So anyway, uh, Jen is going to be doing a half hour yin yoga with me 
um, every week. And so she's like, I have homework for you. You have to go get blocks because I don't have any yoga equipment. So that's my long winded story to, to tell you why I'm here at uh, Target is to get some yoga blocks. She also wanted me to get a pillow and straps. I don't think I need straps. She's like, you can just use a belt. I have, I'm like, I have those. And I think I can use like any pillow and uh, blankets. I think I can use, I have plenty of blankets. So anyway, we're going to start that either this week or next week. I can't say I'm excited. You know, I really, I, I really, I'm just not a fan of stretching. It's just boring. I'm just, I'm over it before it even starts. Uh, but anyway, I have to do it. And at least I get to do it with my friend, my very best friend. So uh, that'll be, that'll be fun. At least that'll be an aspect. I'll be able to see her every week, which is nice. So that's what I'm doing at Target. Um, I should get home. I think the work there is probably done and I can get some real work done. Look at how crazy my hair looks. It looks like, like windblown. I always feel like some weird female Asian version of Christopher Walken when my hair looks like this intense. There's some guy in the parking lot staring at me because I'm essentially talking to myself. All right, uh, I'm gonna go back. There's a bunch of stuff at home that I wanted to show you. Just some cute things that have come in. I mean, it's like, you guys are gonna die. It's like cuteness overload. Okay, let's head on home. So I'm back from Target. These are the blocks that I got. These are the things I was talking about. I think, I'm sure you guys all know about yoga blocks. Anyway, I got these. These are all in motion. I think this is like the Target brand. Anyway, these are heavier than I thought they would be, which I guess is good. Is this all cork? Yeah, made of natural cork. Um, so I got those. And then I thought I would try these calming bites for butters. They're Zesty Paws Advanced Calming Bites. She's a pretty calm dog. She just gets really, really excited when people come over. So I thought maybe I would try giving her one of these, I don't know, like an hour before the next time I'm expecting a guest. But yeah, there's like, I would say two instances where she goes bonkers when the doorbell rings and when like we have company, when someone is coming into the, into the home and not even in a guard dog kind of way, just she like just freaks, she's just so happy. She just loves people so much. So she'll run up and she starts jumping. It's just, it's a lot. So anyway, I thought I would try these for her. Um, I think I've tried a calming treat, not these kind. I've tried a different calming treat with her. Didn't really work, didn't work. But I thought I would give, give this a try. Also, I thought I would give these Quest protein chips a try. Now, you know, I really try and eat whole foods and I really try and stick to the meal plan that my trainer gave me. And when I'm home, it's fine. Um, you know, obviously I go off it when I'm traveling or if I have to go out, like when I went out with uh, Jennifer and we went to SDK, I don't stress about it. It's just when I go out or whatever, I pretty much just eat whatever looks good to me on the menu. But when I'm home and I have, you know, a bit more control over what I can eat, that's when I take that control. But every once in a while, like, I just love snacking. I love snacks. When I'm watching TV, I love to like snack. I'm just a big snacker. And it's, I, I wanna say that habit has been really, really hard for me to break. So I've just been, you know, kind of struggling through it on most days. But on some days I'm like, I, I need a snack. I, I need to like munch on something. And so I've been trying to find ones that are okay. Like these, it's better if I don't eat them, but if I have to, if I must, um, I'm like, let me just try and find some, some snacks that are a little bit more acceptable. So these taste okay. The macros are okay, but the ingredients are, you know, they're terrible. So, uh, you know, I, I think these are good on the occasion, but not like a bag every day. They are very, very spicy, if you are interested in these. These tortilla style, um, hot and spicy protein chips, they are very spicy. It doesn't linger, it's that kind of spice. It's very spicy, it's like a punch, and then it fades pretty quickly. They're very, very like satisfying. I opened up this bag and I was expecting to eat the whole thing like as my little afternoon snack, but I just ate a few and I was like, I'm good, <laughs> I'm okay. So I tried these 
And while we're on the topic of eating, I'm also jumping on the apple cider vinegar bandwagon. I've been hearing about apple cider vinegar, how it's good, you should take like a shot of it in the morning. And I never really understood why. And then I heard, I was listening to like a podcast and a doctor was talking about how um, this will lower, I don't know if it'll actually lower or if it'll even out your glucose levels. And uh, it's kind of like one of those diet hacks. Like if you, let's say, are gonna have like birthday cake that day or whatever, it's good to have um, like a shot of apple cider vinegar earlier in the day. So I thought, why not? People talk about it like, like it's castor oil, like, oh my God, you know, just dilute it with water. But I took like a tablespoon of it, it's fine. It's, it's not that bad, I don't think, I mean, you know, we eat like salt and vinegar chips, or if you eat kimchi often or whatever, like all those things, sauerkraut, all those things are really, really sour and like vinegary. I, I don't think you'll have a problem with this. I didn't, and I'm, I can be kind of a wuss about those things. But anyway, I got this at Target too, the Bragg Organic Apple Cider Vinegar. And that's pretty much what I got at Target. Um, oh, I got some hair ties too because like, where do these go? Where on earth do these go? <laughs> I really don't know. I mean, I think I just have like a couple in every single one of my bags, in some drawers, in my desk drawers, in my different bathrooms or whatever. I mean, I think I, think I have a couple in my car. I think that's just where they end up, but it's like, I feel like I go through one of these sleeves of 37, which is a strange, odd number. 37 um, of these, I, I don't know maybe twice a year. It's ridiculous, ridiculous. I'm sure I'm not the only one. <laughs> anyway, I have to, oh, actually I have to leave very, very soon. I am getting my nails done. I've been growing them a little bit longer and I wanted like a squoval shape. They filed them a little bit too pointy last time, I think because my nails were still too short. Like it was hard for them to get like a normal kind of curve to them. So. Um, I'm hoping they can do something less point, like this one. This one is too pointy. These have actually calmed down a bit, but this one is like too pointy. Yeah, I want them like just a little bit rounder, less pointy. Um, and many of you have been asking me about the color of this. I have no idea. I just, you know, the last time I went there, I usually get my walnut brown, which is that really deep dark brown. And I was like, let's just do a, let's just do a nude. I don't think I was ready for like long nails and the walnut brown. So I was like, let's, you know, try the long nails and then, uh, you know, do something new. So my nail tech just whipped out this nude color. She's like, how's this? I'm like, it's fine. But anyway, today's my nail appointment. I get my nails done. If you're curious, I get my nails done every two weeks. I just get regular polish on my toes and I get gel on my fingers for some reason. I mean, maybe more so in the summertime, but in the wintertime when I have like full shoes on, sometimes socks, I feel like I don't even need to do my toes every two weeks with just regular polish, but you know, since I'm there, I definitely have to get my nails done every two weeks. So that's where I'm heading off to. And then I'm picking up butters from daycare after that. And that's it. Just a regular day at home. Good morning. How is everyone? Oh, I have a couple of really cute things to show you guys. Let me get the first one, hold on. So as you guys know, I take uh, my, my dog, Miss Butters, to daycare. Um, it's also where I board her whenever we go away. It's called Canine Country. And they came out with a yearbook. <laughs> I love this so much. Hold on, let me just show you some highlights here. They actually have class pictures in here. So there's Fuzzy Butters, look at her. They have her down there as Fuzzy. That's, how, that's what they call her there. And then look, they have an autographs page. <laughs> Here's the swim team. Butters does not like to go into water, it's just not her thing. She's done it a couple times. She just gets right out. It's just, she doesn't like it. <laughs> she doesn't like it. She can swim, you know, she can do all the things. She just prefers not to. Um, so she's not on the swim team. That is not her thing. Oh my God, look at this, whose nose is it? Oh my God, so cute. Anyway, I just had to share that with you guys because I know you guys love butters and I talk about taking her to daycare all the time. So when they were like, do you want to buy a yearbook? We were like, uh, yeah, we do. <laughs> 
We really do. Okay, so that was one thing I just had to show you guys. It's just, oh my God, cuteness overload. And when I did a house, was it a house update video? Oh yeah, it was when um, I got that washer dryer combo machine and then I got, hold on, let me move you a little bit. I got that print from Alison Friend, who's an artist over in the UK, found her on Instagram. Uh, so every once in a while, she will make available some prints of her paintings and she'll have an option to get them framed or whatever. So she had another release of this guy eating pizza. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? He's so cute. So anyway, I got this. It still has the, the cellophane wrap on it. I still have to hang it up and everything. But I am so, so glad I got little pizza dog. Little pizza dog. So I think I mentioned, yeah, I did. When I got the first one, that dog reminded me of my very good friend Matthew's dog, Ozzy. And they have two dogs, Ozzy and Nash. And if you guys have watched my vlog when I'm out in New York by Greenwood Lake, you will have met Ozzy and Nash. So anyway, this dog eating pizza looks a little bit more like Nash. So now I feel like I have two, two doggy portraits of my two little doggy nephews, Ozzy and Nash. So I just love him. I love the look he has on his face too. You know, like he's kind of like sneaking it. Sorry, there's a glare but like he's kind of sneaking the pizza. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, I just love it so much. So I just had to show you guys those two things, those two super cute things. Oh, actually, where did it go? Oh, I put it over there. As you guys know, I went to Paris to uh, attend the Mark Rothko exhibit at the Fondation Louis Vuitton. So they had these for sale, but I sure as heck was not gonna get one there and drag it around with me. So when I came home, I ordered one and it finally came. But here is the official exhibit book. It's very large, but if you're not able to make it over there and you are interested in his artwork, this book is great. It has all of them, all of them in there. So it's the perfect, you know, coffee table book, but it's definitely one I'm actually gonna <laughs> actually gonna be reading. So I just picked that up as well. So, so excited. I was supposed to go to Pilates this morning, but my Pilates instructor canceled. She actually canceled late last night. I was already asleep. But she said something, she has two dogs. One is much older um, and one is, is fairly young. But she said she's having doggy issues. So I just texted and said, I hope everything's okay, please let me know. But I think she's, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. But anyway, I was supposed to go to Pilates. I don't have Pilates this morning. I'm kind of <laughs> kind of happy to have the morning to myself so that I can catch up with you guys. Um, I have a call today at 12 noon, uh, which I should prep for. What time is it? I should prep for, but that's all I have today. Oh, I got my nails done yesterday. So you guys have been asking me what color this is. And I didn't know because if I'm gonna get a nude color like this, I usually just have my uh, nail tech just whatever she has like at her table. She just has like a whole array of nudes um, and she'll show me a couple and I'm like, okay, whatever's like just the most nude, you know, just like kind of almost sheer. Um, so anyway, so many of you have been asking me what color this is and I didn't know, but since I got my nails done uh, yesterday, I took a picture of it. I've already forgotten the name. It's, I know it's a Tammy Taylor, that's the brand. And the color is part of the Sheer Nude French Collection and it's called Sheer Nude Mocha. So here's what the bottle looks like. Oh God, that's so bright, sorry. That's what the bottle looks like. So that's Tammy Taylor Elegance, or Jelligance, Jelligance, yeah, because these are gel nails. Um, so that's the color I've been using on my nails. I don't know, I've just been feeling nude, more nude on my nails versus that walnut brown that I always get. And I'm actually leaving my nails a little bit longer too, which is very unusual for me. I'm still getting used to typing with, with the longer nails. It's really annoying. <laughs> but I'm like, I can do it. It's okay. I don't know how much longer I'll make them. I don't know how much longer they'll actually grow. But yeah, I'm kind of liking it. I, I don't know. I feel like like an adult. <laughs> I don't know, definitely different for me. As you guys know, I like my nails pretty short. So anyway, we'll see. But that is the color that I've been using and you guys have been asking. Butters, you ready to go for a walk, baby? You're biting yourself. I'm also taking you to get your allergy shot today. Allergies are acting up. 
she's been waking up in the middle of the night, biting herself and scratching herself and licking her paws and stuff. So it's time for an allergy shot. I know, mommy feels it too. Mm -hmm. But let's go for a walk and then we'll go to the vet. Okay, okay. Come on, baby.